buster call is here. It has arrived. The, the Navy force to be reckoned with, to fear, is here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Buster, I Shinobi. We have episodes 302 and 303 is filler. So 302 and 304 of our One Piece watch through today. Robin is free. And that, that, that was the entire goal of this whole time. But now we are in way too deep. As I said, buster call has arrived. These, these naval fleets with five vice admirals, alongside the fact that we are like so far into any lobby that I feel like fighting is the only option. There's no way to escape that quickly. Guys, if you're new to the channel, drop a sub and hit that big boy bell and let's get started with the episode. So one just hit the gate on the, on the outside. Was that just to symbolize that they're just gonna blindly shoot in? Why does he? <laughs> Maybe he's gonna start to realize that, yeah, they're straight up just gonna start launching stuff and realize what he's done. There's a lot of them. What about it? Damn. Mm -hmm. Oh, dang. He's got a lot of scars. Yep. This is what Robin said. The whole tower. They're literally just going to flatten the Inis lobby. Damn. Oh, Buster Call is no joke. We're gone. Oh, so they can all, can all get in. Mm -hmm. Dude, and like, it's on this waterfall. Like, it can just cr like crumble into that waterfall so easily. <laughs> Still calling him Soga King, man. Did you not listen? You have to! Ordinary superhero. Oh! Oh my. Yeah, there they go. <laughs> like, stop messing around! Dude, they're wasting no time! It's literally gonna be Ohara 2.0. The Navy, just, they're so like, like, they power trip. Like you get, you get one buster call. He's like, I right, just like throw everything we have. Maybe it has never happened aside from Ohara. It's that rare of an occurrence. I feel like by the end of this, everything is going to fall into that, that waterfall below. Everything. Nah, he got down. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Prime delivery, baby. <laughs> Bro, they're just gonna start running? Now you can, yeah! Is that, that like, upbeat fighting music? Yeah, these, these poor, like, Navy soldiers stand no chance, man. Oh my god! Well, that's, like, enough to, like, knock you unconscious. <laughs> She just kind of felt good for Robin to actually be able to use her powers after so long. After being just beaten around. What? Buddy just spits nails? Dude, what else is Frankie hiding? Oh, he's got something else. Oh, no. Yeah, that's what... Weapons left and weapons right is just like where he fires just some indiscriminate object out of each hand. It seems. Frankie, chill, bro. You're gonna run out of cola. Dude, honestly, Buggy would love Frankie. He has so much flair. Convert? Oh! Centaur mode! Yes, sir! It's back! Let's go! Uh, no, he's a centaur. Reverse centaur. That actually scares them! But he's just chasing them down. I love how while this is going on, there's just this, like, hell on earth slowly approaching. I want to see Robin just keep slapping Spandem. They're jumping! Reinforcements? Bro, you got entire ships coming. Not to capture them, to protect Spandem! <laughs> It always has been! Oh my gosh. She tied Chopper to her hat! I mean, I guess whatever works. He's unconscious, you know? Chimney, don't say that! You're like eight! <laughs> it's not about that. Aww. Man. If only Tom could witness this. He'd be so proud of Frankie and Iceberg. And Kokoro. And the goddamn frog. Oh, shoot. 
<laughs> the, the paint, bro. <laughs> Don't say it like that, Jimmy. People are dying. Cannon fire, cannon fire. War, war, war. Oh my God. He's gonna pop off, baby. Now, is it gonna be enough? Or are we gonna finally get to see the third gear? <laughs> So Jet Pistol is like, oh, like a gum gum pistol, just insanely fast. Oh, so everything turns in from gum gum to Jet whenever he's in second gear. Okay, because it's that much faster, I guess. I don't know. Gum gum's like the base. He's faster than you, baby. He's actually faster than him. I mean, maybe there's something Lucci hasn't even shown off yet, though. It's possible. God dang. He's so shiny. He's having fun, I honestly think. That strange red tint. Something's different. That's what I'm trying to figure out, man. And how he developed this. What do you mean you get it? Should I get it? Is there something to get? It seems like second gear is enough, but they still seem like brick walls hitting each other. Like, this is going to be an endurance fight. Oh no. Is he running out of uh, out of gas? Oh no! Doping? Like doping? Oh! oh. Damn. Damn. Huh. So what was what would third be then? Does he just pump harder, faster? Sacrificing his body. Wait, did he only pump twice? Maybe that's why it's second. So if he pumps three times, it's third. I don't know. Because there was like some weird sound effect when he did third to open the door they can handle themselves that's why you can't waste time talking to you oh, oh my gosh no way out but that's actually disastrous for both of them though they're both double for users they can just run whichever way they need to to get out all right so it's a really long way to run actually never mind oh Oh, no. What are you gonna do, Luffy? It's on you, baby. He's trying to win. That's what he's doing. I still think he's a really good opponent, though. He's a really good villain. Better than Spandam. But it's easier to cheer against Spandam because he's such a piece of trash. The ships. They're here. They're here. Oh, my gosh. There's so many. And they're like Omega battleships. <laughs> This is what he wanted. I don't know if Spandem has realized that they're gonna just flatten this entire place. Would they pick him up and like all the Navy like soldiers up first? Or are they gonna send like someone to scout like they did Ohara? Oh, no, they're just firing. I guess with Ohara, they sent someone to scout and then called in the buster call. So that makes sense. Go, go for Elba, the spirit of Elba. 60 pirates. Private agreement with Admiral. She sh she used to be the sole survivor. Dude, they're just nuking in his lobby. This madness. Just the sheer scale is nuts. I was wondering how they would outdo like the, the war of Alabasta in terms of ramping the show up, but I guess flattening the entire island outdoes it. Oh, shoot. Oh, the vice admirals. Four. Oh, he looks kind of nice. Oh, we got to look at all of them. <laughs> the fourth guy looks like a chill dude. <laughs> all righty well this is the end game baby it's going down episode 304 let's get it oh my god those are the, the c train hasn't left fuck they might not get out oh they're passing the the bridge of hesitation Dog, I just want to see like Ace or Shanks or someone else finding about all this going down and it being because of Luffy. The fact that their attack on Innie's lobby invoked a buster call is it's just crazy. <laughs> my god, you are so cringe! Oh my god, he's so cringe. It's, it's like overloading in my brain. Okay, yeah, they're not gonna fire at the bridge. No, oh, it's because Robin's there, you clown! This is her nightmare. She's thinking back to Ohara. It's like PTSD. 
Buster Call will be playing. I'm wondering if Buster Call is going to play like a major part in every big fight, in every big, I guess, fight involving the Navy. I don't think I could even guess how they work their way out of it, considering they have no escape in terms of the sea. Poor Mary is back in Water 7, bro. Actually, not poor Mary, because it's safe in Water 7. Just vibing. But like, how are they to leave? Even if they are able to fight back against all these ships and, and, and everything going on. Jump up, up. But he's gonna get buried. Oh my. Wait, CP9 members could actually perish because the building is gonna fall one way or another. Okay, so the flooding actually hasn't. What are they carrying? They're carrying him. I love these little, like, I hope they never stop doing these little, little pictures that show where everybody uh, uh, is. It's cute. The price I paid. Dude, he did. He saved Robin. He played a part. I don't believe that. There are more than that. Maybe he actually did break his ribs. I don't know. Yeah, sure. <laughs> is he looking at us? No, I want to know. Ten! It went up four! He's trying to say they're all broken. I love his little theme song coming in and then like slowly fading out. Okay, the water's gonna reach them very soon. Of course. Oh, they're getting close. The Kokoro run? God damn, Natalie! Child, I don't think you understand. He broke it. She's like, that makes no sense. Is it gonna show us? Yeah. Okay, no, because in second gear he pumps his legs, but for third gear he he bites his thumb. Like like Aaron, bro. You're such a tease, man. It's so cringe. And then he turns small because of it. He's so tiny. It's so cute. It could sound absolutely ridiculous coming from a child, too. She's like, I don't know about all that. If Kokoro had said it, she'd be like, what? Are we actually going to see Kokoro in fear for the first time? Wait for it. All right, guys, good luck. Oh, they're in fear. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Yeah, how are they supposed to get out? The water rose so fast. I guess he punched the entire hole in it. Yeah, it makes sense. The water's rising fast. Dude, I feel like this ends with one of them falling into the water below. It's an all or nothing for devil for users. Oh no, he's just going up. Never mind. What a little baby. Little baby boy. Oh my god, man, this is moving! Oh wait, this isn't the outside. Oh, it's an entire other room? Oh my gosh. How long is it gonna take him to be able to go second gear again though, since he ran out of juice? Or maybe he just has to pump his legs. Maybe it's kind of like, like one of those nerf guns where like you pump it enough and it shoots enough bullets and you have to pump it again to shoot more. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Well, technically to rescue them, he has to go through you. Yeah, cause you're just gonna cause a problem later if not. He's going again, baby. He's in them. Yeah. Kind of sounds like you don't want the smoke. I'm not going to lie. This is the fight, man. The thing is, though, like I said, Luchi seems like a very, very big obstacle right now. But beyond that, how the hell are they supposed to get away from all these Navy ships? Especially since Luffy and them are literally the targets for that. Especially since they're not even being selected. They're just destroying everything. I like not being able to even remotely guess what's going to happen, though. It's, it's nice. Thank you for the analysis, Usopp. Soga King. Dude, the sound again. I thought that was like the buster call. Maybe he's just hearing the ships get closer and closer and closer. Very ominous. I sense of the god. Does he have like better hearing than them? Holy what? <laughs> they're just going on without him, but they're gonna come running back eventually. God, this tunnel is so long. There's no way they outrun it all the way back to the stairs. Plus, that would kind of suck because then they wouldn't be with Luffy and all of that. Luffy, Robin, and uh, Frankie. And I thought the climax of all this, they would all end up in the same place. So that might not work out like that. Dude, it's like balancing between just the chaos outside and this fight. It's all led to this, baby. 
the you world's know. hero. God, he looks so dumb, bro. God damn! He's not even in second gear. He's just fighting with his heart, baby. Oh my god, he needs at least second gear. Luchi's so fast. Oh my god! Oh shoot! Wait, why? Oh, he's gonna spin him. Oh shoot, that's what he used against Inaru! It's like a drill. And he's he's still like too strong. Oh my god. Time to start doping again, Luffy. <laughs> Oh my. I think he deserves that much, yeah. He can't even. Oh, wait. I was going to say he can't pump his legs even if he wanted to, but. God damn! Dude, he's fighting with everything he has, man. So fast! Flying finger pistol? What? Oh, what? But he's just shooting bullets with his fingers. The booger guy from Baroque Works could never flick that hard. Oh, no, he's charging this one. Wait, he actually is. Oh, my God. That's so cool. No way does Luffy lose, man. Come on. I, they're not going to make it through the tunnel to get to him. There's no way. It would have to be Robin and Frankie coming in. He's up! And he's doping! Third <laughs> gear! Yes! <laughs> what? It's me! One bone to another? Oh my god, he's large! Wait, no, it's not rubber, it's bone! It's, it, it's not gonna hit like rubber! Holy shit! Oh my god! What? <laughs> Oh my god. He really used Iron Body and tried to defend against it. Oh my goodness. Wait, so third gear just makes him like his his fist. He said the fist of a giant? That's so cool. Oh my gosh, I'm exhausted. I, I'm drained. So whenever he destroyed the door, he just wa boom, wa boom. And it was gone. So is he gonna be tiny now? Is this an all or nothing? Like if this doesn't put Luchi out of commission, Luffy's just gonna lose because he's just gonna be small and he's just gonna throw him around. But by the, the look of the last shot, Luchi's just chilling over the ocean. I guess he could moon moonwalk back, but oh my gosh. The peak of this, this arc is delivering. And like I said, Said, there's still an army of the navy outside that has to be dealt with in one way or another and i have absolutely no idea how they're gonna do that guys if you're new to the channel don't forget to drop a sub so you don't miss anything else and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace peace